Hi guys, today I want to show you this fast, simple and compact furnace array system. It doesn't use any hopper minecarts, it only uses hoppers. And it has a distribution system for both the items you want to smelt and the fuel. So as you can see here, I don't have any items in the furnaces at the moment, but if I would put in fuel at this side, and the items I want to, sm want to smelt at the top, it would transfer the items over hoppers and then equally distribute them to all 22 furnaces. And they would turn on all almost at the same time. And then whenever uh, it has smelted the first item, it would receive the second item. As you can see here, we get a new raw chicken. So it's uh, yeah, perfectly timed and the output lands in this chest here. So here we have a skinned version. It's quite compact as you can see. It's just 5 wide and 6 high and 28 long in total. And it doesn't use any complicated clocks, so we just have normal redstone wiring. That's all you need here. I also made an even faster version where it would distribute the items to two sides. So in this faster version you would use 44 furnaces at once. So again just put in the fuel in here and at the top chest put in the items you want to smelt. And then 44 furnaces would work at once. The system works 100% reliable in 1.11. And the reason is that the locational behavior of hoppers got finally fixed. So it doesn't matter where you build this furnace array, it would always work 100% reliable in 1.11 versions. But not in 1.10 or below. This little test setup here illustrates what happens in 1.10. So I changed the version to 1.10. So if I put in some items in those hoppers here, you will see the locational behavior of hoppers. As you can see here, the items got distributed equally and the other ones, um, yeah, they were left out in certain spots. But it's totally locational, so it's uh, quite a coincidence that it uh, was the same for the first three. And maybe the fifth is uh, different again. You can see here, yeah, here it would work. And in 1.11, you finally get the same results for every setup. So let's do the same test in the 1.11 snapshot. As you can see, it would leave out the same spots. So because it's yeah predictable now, we can do a workaround for this problem. The workaround to solve the problem with the missed furnaces is quite simple. So every six block, we add six game ticks of delay to make up for the missing game tick. Yeah, and that's all there is to it. I also did this for the uh, fuel distribution system. And this way it works 100% reliable. And now let's start with the tutorial. In the video description you can find the list of the required materials. So let's start. So first we need 22 furnaces. Then we need to put a hopper on top of every furnace. And then a row, of, a row of hoppers above that. And two more. And then also go around the back and have hoppers pointing into the furnaces. And here we also need a row of hoppers pointing in that direction. And let's also do two more. Then we also yeah, need a chest for the products and then another row of hoppers below the furnaces. Now we can already start with the redstone. So on the side of those downwards facing hoppers we placed on some solid blocks and on top of those we put redstone dust. And then we place a solid block on the side of this hopper Take an output of a comparator, power this dust 
which powers this repeater through this block here. And then we go up by one, put two pieces of dust on top. Then we go back down again, two redstone dust, and those yeah, blocks prevent the dust from connecting. Then also put another dust here, and then a repeater on three ticks of delay, points it to a block, and then we need another solid block here, and another one here. And then we put a redstone dust right here. Then we add three more solid blocks, put dust on top, and then do the same again. We go down by two, two blocks here, another dust repeater on three, solid block, solid block, solid block, and dust again. And here we go again, four blocks, go down to dust, and do this once more. And one final time, the end here. And this repeater um, is also on three. And that's the dot on top. Now we're already done with the other distribution of the items that we want to smelt. I have to correct myself. We are still missing those torches here on the side. So add a torch here and there. Okay, so now, now let's go around and do the system for the fuel distribution. And for that, we place down a block right here. Let's take an output of comparator again. Go into block, then we need a torch. Block on top, another torch, and a block on top. And then another stop here. Redstone dust. And then we go down. One, two, three, four, five. Then put solid blocks here, so the lines don't connect. Then add a repeater on three again. Then we also need to add blocks right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, blocks right here. Then again, repeater on three. And then one, two, three, four, five blocks. And repeater on three. And then also add the blocks right here. Dust on top. And then we go until here. And then two more blocks right here. And now we just have to power those hoppers with um, repeaters. So again, each hopper receives a repeater. And back we have dust. Then we just need to add a block right here, put some dust on top and add a torch. So now all of those are powered. So now we just have to add some input chests. So at the top, we put a chest for the items we want to smelt, and at the back, we put in the fuel. So now we're already done. So, so it's really simple to build, and it works fine. Uh, let's do a quick test. Put in some planks in the fuel chest, and some potatoes in the item chest. Take a step back. And wait a little. And as you can see, all the furnaces turn on. Not a single furnace is left out. So the yeah, system really works reliably. And if you want the double speed system with the 44 furnaces, all you gotta do is to mirror the whole yeah, system to the other side. And the input chests, are, uh, move them a little bit to the front so they're easier to access and the decoration is up to you. So I hope this uh, tutorial was useful for you and it was easy to follow. You can leave me some feedback. Have a good day. Bye bye.